and I'd like to say it would be, you know, fly twice a week, because that way you keep it all kind of current. Or as if you only fly like once every two weeks or something, you're almost kind of starting over a little bit as you move forward. And how, how many hours do you have to keep up in order to keep your license? Well, uh, you're, once you get your license, you basically have your license for life as long as you're, you know. Uh, so the only thing you have to do is every two years you have to do what's called a biannual flight review, and that uh, is designed to kind of refresh on everything that you should know as a pilot. An instructor will take you up, go through everything you should know, make sure you're still proficient, and remember how to do it. And besides that, um, you um, just have to fly often enough to keep current as far as to, to fly with passengers. You need three takeoffs and landings in 90 days. Okay. And um, then uh, if you are a private pilot, you need to have, you know, medical every couple of years. And such, you know, requirements basically go up a little bit depending on what rating you have. If you're a commercial pilot or an airline transport pilot or whatever. So, but theoretically, once you get your license, it's yours unless you were to lose it for some reason. Okay. So, so I'm definitely very... Uh, take off some landings every 90 days if you want to take somebody with you is how it works. Right. Yeah, before you can take post passengers with you, you have to be current, basically, and that's... So we're going to contact Riverside Tower. Riverside Tower, Bonanza 19667. And let them know we're coming back in. Bonanza 19667, Riverside Tower. Yes, sir, we're Charlie 35, Bonanza, just departed Rialto, like to transition air airspace for Corona. We're going to land on runway 27, which is the west-facing runway. The southwest of the airport is Cherokee. He's in the pattern at 1,800 feet. All right, sir. Thank you. And you can hang on. I'm just going to push the button here. Delta altitude, your discretion. Just be able to reduce the fire a little bit so we start our descent. 1,500 feet climbing to 1,800. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks, sir. Skycatcher 70241, Riverside Tower, and uh, enter left base for runway 27, report over the auto center. Auto center. Cherokee 377, runway 27, clear touch and go. Clear for touch and go on 27377. So, we pulled a little power back because we're starting our descent in for Riverside. Elevation back there is 820, and we're at 2500 now, so we have about another... 1,600 feet to go here. Here we go. Oh. Banana 6-6 Delta, continue with your transition for exchange change crew. Uh, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Six dollars.
usually gets a little bumpier again as we descend down and get into the rising air that we talked about. Is the air just the same in an unpopular area? What's that, I'm sorry? Same in an unpopular area? As far as the bumping issue? Yeah. The city, I mean, you have a lot of asphalt and stuff, so that radi yeah. radiates more air, more hot air off the ground. But uh, being that we're kind of a deserty area, pretty much all over Southern California, you will experience the same kind of conditions. Anytime after about 12:30 or so, it tends to be a little bumpy. I mean, just close to the ground, and the winds are swirling around a little bit as the winds pick up in the afternoon. Riverside Tower, Cessna 5235 Echo, holding short at 27, IFR departure. Cessna 5235 Echo, Riverside Tower, holding short, runway 27. Holding short, 35 Echo. Skycatcher 241, turn left next taxiway and taxi to parking via, uh, correction, contact ground 121.7, hold short taxiway Alpha. Turn around, turn around, press Skyhawk 5235 Echo, maintain 3000 on departure, runway 27. So we have a little more airflow 